If you want to get into competitive Call of Duty, just go look at Formal's history. That is how you really get to the top right there. Yeah, you we're going to be to moving into Infection Uplink here uh, with our pick and bans. And right away, we see Nagafin banning that overdrive. Flashbang's gone. Sar concussions, Semtex. So normal classics, Hive Caliber. I'm curious if they get ra get rid of Rapid Fire I mean, someone now. has to. I would assume, especially on Elevate side. Although everyone used it, they were on the losing side. I got to imagine that they want to take out that once again. They don't want to have to just deal with it. They'd rather play with something else, maybe another trick they have up their sleeves, but I think that's what they're talking about right now. They're taking a lot of time trying to decide what the last ban or protect might I'm be. I'm thinking Shiva Rapid Fire to follow things out. There's Rapid Fire. I don't think you allow the Shiva to go through on infection. Actually, they do. Camo's still in place, so they, they gotta take that one out, so once again, we're gonna see the Shiva. Yeah, and like Revan said, this is a very viable map for the Shiva. A lot of long lines of sight, so it's, you know, on this map, you see a lot of Man of Wars in, instead of the M8, but now with that Shiva, that two-shot kill coming in, it's gonna switch up everybody's game plan quite a bit. Yeah, it's going to allow you to just get that easy pick. The camel going out from the side of Optic, not too surprising. Again, whenever you're in the lead, and like you said, Nate, whenever you have confidence in your own gun skills over the others, you want to take out the X-Factors. And for me, this is one of the most decisive maps for Elevate and their, the rest of their tournament, because if they go down 3-0 to Optic Gaming, that is going to be a heartbreaker. It's going to be bad for their momentum, and it's going to be bad for their mentality going out through the entire match. Yeah, also losing on Uplink. We keep mentioning it. The commentators keep mentioning it because it's true. Elevate has a lot of pride in this game mode, and to lose Lose to Optic, no matter how great a team Optic is, it's going to not do such great work on their morale. But let's find out how this map is going to be played out between these two teams, Revan. All right, so Infection Uplink is all about manipulating the spawns of the opposing team. So let me just erase one of these goals real quick. So when you're attacking this side of the map, the main spawn for your opponent is going to be right over here, kind of on the B street. And for that reason, it can be kind of tough to rotate back at times. I mean, if you rotate back this way, you got to worry about maybe somebody like Formal being set up on the tank and having a direct line of sight to kill you in rotation. Maybe you could hit this, like, outer cliff and come around, but that takes some time as well. A lot of times you'll see players just push up, overextend, and try to fight for mid-map control. And for that exact reason, it can be pretty tough just to regain control of the map and reestablish your positions as well. Now, when you're attacking the other side, when the... Drone goal is going to be over here near back church. The other team's main spawn is going to be kind of near this area, over near Top Snow Street. And when they have to rotate back, they have a couple of more options. You know, they have more air to work with back here. They could hit hole and wall. They could go forward as well. But one thing you got to look out for: you cannot lose control of your front tanks whenever you're on either side. That's the one position on this map that if you let it go in favor of the other team, it's, you're going to have a bad time. Now I gotta wonder, every time we talk about uplink and we talk about setting up that fast lane and getting those spawns a little bit manipulated, at what point do you just accept that you're gonna lose that one dunk or one point throw and fight for middle middle map again? Well, fighting for middle control can also burn you because you might think, okay, this is it, we've gotta snap this kill, this, this uh, spawn trap that we're in, but if you overextend middle and somebody is on the other team is predicting that and shuts you down, it could get even worse. So there's a lot of decisions that need to be made in that situation and there's also a lot of clutch kills that need to happen for you to get out of a spawn trap. Right, if you overextend and don't get kills on that overextension, uh, you're just, just going to wind up getting more points. It's going to get team. real bad. Yeah, high risk, high reward, right? Well, it's going to be that uplink optic currently leading 2-0 against Elevate and semifinal number two, of course, in the grand finals. Rise is waiting for one of these two teams. Let's find out who continues on the lead. Is it optic going 3-0 or is Elevate going to start making a series? Get into the game. It's going to be Courage and Mr. X. Elevate fans, it's beginning to get scary. You drop a search and destroy to yeah. Optic Gaming, now down 2-0 in this best of seven. The silver lining here, obviously you can still afford to lose one more map and still come back, but map, it is looking more and more grim as the series goes on. And Elevate loses that SMD despite getting first blood seven out of the ten rounds. That's a really tough one to swallow, That's... but... If there's a game mode these guys can come together and play well on, it's Uplink. Think back to last year, COD Champs. These guys redefine the way this game mode's played. They need that same type of performance here today. Aqua, you gotta do your best to shut down Formal in this one. Infection Uplink, another map that we have just seen him be so dominant on in this series. I tweeted so far his KD above a 2.0 through the first two games. And off the start, it's gonna be Aqua challenging. I believe that is Crim6 in the top church window. He gets the better of it there with a nice headshot with the M8. And that's a hard gun fight to win, I assume Crim using the Shiva. It's going to be up there with that one, and uh, long range, that's a really tough one to win with an M8. So fantastic shots there by Aqua, and you're going to see Elevate try and push into the OG base. They need to pick up some kills here, though. It's going to be Facento taking out Karma, and 
Nice play by OG. Don't know who it was, but they just picked up the drone and threw it back towards the middle of the map. They just didn't let it sit on their side. And how many teams, Dak, do we see where time and time again, you know, the drone will be down their base, they like to slay out and then worry about the drone later. They get it right back to mid-map. It's a quick two-second play to throw it back towards mid-map. Yep. Smart decision by OG. I just kind of watched Crim6 here on the rotation towards B Street. He's going to have multiple players pushing, only able to get one. This should be a one-point play for Naga Fen. There it is. Elevate strike first in one minute. That's exactly what they want to do in this game three they need any momentum they could get or else the optic gaming train will just keep on rolling into the station that is the grand finals remy pushed up into grave how does he like to play this one? that's exactly what revan was talking about if you take that drone on the overextension you're able to get those one point throws and it's going to be skunk now going down that b street he has some teammate support it's going to be karma picking up facento they're trying to figure out if they should go for the two or the one here and he was going to go for the two around the back and now karma's got to make a big play should decide to go for the one point throw oh. he's going to connect with it nice play there by karma he's able to pick up two kills get the drone while he's weak and get off that nice one point throw to tie the game you can see how that was developing right aqua was just going to go to try and get the inter interception a little bit short of it there. Doesn't make it happen. Crip 6, a beautiful jumping, unfortunate mantle there. That's not what he wanted to do. Elevate and Optic Gaming knotted up at one to one. I mean, it, with it still being even for the first couple minutes of the game, is there a team at this favor so far, Matt, or just it's pretty st standard gameplay at this moment? I think it's kind of standard. I mean, back and forth, nobody's really gotten control of anyone's base yet. You see Karma flying and picking up one with an M8. I think once we see somebody get control of the opponent's base, we see how many scores they can rally off of that, then we'll, that's when we'll really tell, you know, how this game is going to be played out for the rest of it. Ooh, Psychosis gets used for Sento. With the help with Remy gets that kill. They've opened up the side of Barn and now it does look like they're going to try to get an offensive push going. Formal just completely misses the player in middle map who grabs the drone. Now we'll begin a challenge. That doesn't work out in his favor. Krim though there to help trade the kill. 2v2, make it a 2v1, make it a 2v0 as Krim6 and Karma the duo clear out all of Elevate. The issue is, is they were never able to get that player out of Grave. That player just sat in Grave the entire time. They were never able to push through with the drone out of Barn. Uh-oh, Elevate. And right there, I mean, it's going to result in a one-point throw going the other way. So that is one where if Elevate at least baits that first player out and challenges that guy in Grave, they can get the drone carrier into that position to get a one-point throw off. And this is not a good situation for exactly Elevate. Exactly what Revan spoke This about. is what Revan and I were talking about on this map. When you get behind this tank, you can cause some serious rallies of the drone. They're able to take Formal out, and it looks like they could potentially stop. There's one more player for OG What's actually that? in the back of their base and scump? it's gonna be scump and it's gonna allow a one point throw to go through for karma so elevate that's not a bad situation right could have been much worse they rotate back win some gunfights only give up another one point play yeah i feel like uh, after that one obviously it's not what you want to happen but only to give up two one point tosses could have been much worse yeah with formal on your back tank with scump in your back rock i mean that could have gotten ugly quick but instead still a one possession game through three and a half minutes formal start off this one two and six has gone, what, 6-1 and one over his last uh, two lives. Definitely what you want to see out of him. Trying to challenge his player in Broken Connector. Take it as much time it's as possible. It's the longest gunfight I've ever yeah. seen to respawn. Okay, it's still going on. It's now been 12 seconds. I mean, try to challenge again. Eventually, okay. somebody's going to die here. All right, well, <laughs> they both get traded out. That was really a long gunfight. That meant absolutely nothing in terms of the game. But Krim is actually going to get behind enemy line. So if you're OG, you want to just set up mid-map. Get some control, and then you want to just catch Elevate off guard. But look at this. Elevate's actually going to go down the B Street. They're going to try to play this one from the middle of the map. It's going to... I don't think it's going to work out great for him. I mean, Formal's going to catch one. They know they have him trapped inside that B bomb site. Scump with another. This could be awful for Elevate if Optic gets towards the middle of the map fast. Pressure still coming in from Scump. Does get one with the help of Karma. Now Optic Gaming. They push the drone up for yards. Now trying to get another score out of this one. It's sitting in top bedroom. He'll grab it. He'll go for the one to make it a two possession game. Gets it in. Four to one optic gaming. Matt, it isn't by the largest of margins, but... It's still a margin. It, yeah, it's definitely still a margin. And to be quite frank, Elevate haven't gotten past the middle of the map in the last three minutes. No, and optic gaming, when you look at this roster, I mean, when you have three guys running an AR and the three guys are Karma, Formal, and Krim, I mean, how many better three AR combinations on other teams are there. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's probably any. I think they're probably the best Ooh, one. Optic gets the score in. there in the final second, so it's going to be 5-1 OG going into the second half. Afterburner makes it on through. Crim6 doing the most with it here. Nice, long one-point toss in your kill cam and finishes it out with a nice one-bullet kill on the Aqua. Two-possession lead going into the half. If you're Optic Gaming, you got to be pretty happy with that one. Elevate. Matt, you mentioned how it's just tough to stack up against the ARs of Optic Gaming. 
what do they need to try to do here to at least eliminate that advantage in they, some way? They got to get control of the B steps. If they get control of the B steps and an AR player over there, they're able to control the middle of the map. And Nagafin, with the Annihilator right off the rip here, has to go big, pick up at least one, two kills. And you see, it's going to spawn one player's feet over by the B stairs. It's going to waste three <laughs> okay, shots Nagafin. on it. And at this moment in time, you're going to have to push up to take out that Is player. This? and. See, flying around the corner. Nagafin's able to get to. That's the big play you needed with the Annihilator. They need to get the drone to move off the map, but Karma gets behind Elevate, and he's able to just pick up one player, and that allows OG to rotate all the way back to their base. Dude. A huge kill and play by Karma. And look, he's still back here. I mean, I swear. Every yeah, time uh, I watch Karma play more and more, he's the biggest troll. He's, that is a... He kills a player with the Annihilator. He gets two kills in the middle map, stops the push. He just shut down the Scythe there. He's still in their base. He's single-handedly giving his team the opportunity to push this drone all the way down. Be straight. He gets another one as well. It was actually a missed one-point shot, It's though. the difference between OG being spawn-trapped and elevate control the OG base and it just saving... I don't want to say saving the game for Optic, but they at least... Karma saves Saving at least one lead? score there. I mean, yeah, it's a huge play by Karma. He comes all the way down the B Street. Instead of coming through the stairs, he's able to take one player out with the drone, and the next player has to rotate back with the Annihilator. Oh, Karma man. is able to take him out, and you see the floodgates could potentially be opening for Optic. Yeah, and Scobie actually gets Heat Wave at the final seconds, jumps again, misses it, just decides for the one-point throw. I'm perfectly okay with that. That could have gone really poorly for OG. It goes back to that whole possession thing. That one-point toss makes it a three-possession game instead of two. You get it done, and... Matt, teams in that situation, you know, they might be feeling good. You just had four dead. You got formal on a seven streak, like, for the 12th time this series. And instead of going for a dunk, he just settles for the one. I feel like players who, who aren't as smart as Scump and as skilled as Scump would just try to force the dunk no matter what. It's a big kill on a formal right there in their own base as well, obviously, for Elevate to get control back. But they also stop him just short of that lightning strike. Would have been huge for the Optic to retake their yep. base if Elevate got control of it. So they're able to stop him. And getting that lightning strike, you still have high hopes for Elevate here, and you see Krim on your screen, he's going to miss a lot of shots on this one player, trying to tag him up through oh, the wall, he's oh. finally going to get some teammate help, it's going to be two dead for Elevate, they get control of the drone and just throw it for yards, smart play there by Nagafin. Scump continuing to play these B stairs, the drone thrown all the way into OG's base, Karma will grab it, he has Heat Wave, expect him to use it in a crafty way here to try to get this drone in, two do fall though. Or Optic Gaming. No, instead it's Crim6 turning things around with a kill on Nagafen. Now the drone at bottom church. Karma should have at least a one here. That's exactly what's going to happen. OG up 7-1. to one. Matt, they are more than looking solid. And how ironic would it be if Ryze were in the finals of the 4-0 phase and Optic get into the finals of the 4-0 of Elevate to match up? Yeah, now you see Elevate's just having a tough time making anything happen in the middle of the map. Two players drop. I like the idea here for Aqua. He tries to go on the overextension and come behind. No two, three players. But every time I feel like we go from somebody to Elevate, they're just dropping so fast. OG on point. Looks like a completely different team than yesterday. They most certainly are. Karma just pre-aiming this wall. Gets the kill on the Facento. Everything going right for Optic Gaming. Scump just passes up the drone. I, I, I don't need to get it. We have, we have a large enough lead. Let's just continue to keep the pressure on Elevate. I'll wait for Crim6 off the spawn to try to go for that objective or help me get more pressure on to Elevate. HG does get used by Aqua. Unfortunately, though, that will not solve all their problems. Formal trading kills back out of Nagafet. And somehow, Matt, even with multiple players up in their base, Optic Gaming continue to find ways to get on the Elevate's front tank. Yeah, I mean, OG just keeps getting behind them. They have to rotate back and search for these players. Just look at what a nuisance Scump is just staying alive. Now picking up one, gets that kinetic armor back as well. But they have to go back and respect the fact that Scump is up in their church, and they get three dead, and that one oh, player gosh. is actually out of position over by Graveyard. He's going to have to come through Barn middle of the this map, and dunk. because that player is all the way out, it's going to be a dunk. He has absolutely no opportunity to rotate back through Grave. Don't know who it was on Elevate, but... You know, that player, if he's not pushed up that far, he's able to get back, pr make at least one kill on the defensive side of things, and that's going to result in an OG two-point play. And with 40 seconds left, Jack, Optic Gaming up eight points. It's not look likely for Elevate, and especially now you see three dead. This one looks like it's over. Nate made the point yesterday after the Optic TSM series that TSM, they, they were the better team through it, even though Optic Gaming wound up taking the series. I think today... That opinion would definitely change as we've seen how Elevate have performed in this one. 11 to 1 now. Optic Gaming, they've taken full control of this game. They've taken full control of the series. And they're now one map away from going into the grand finals to face Rise Nation here on Championship Sunday. It's, uh, 
It was definitely a wake-up call yesterday yep. against TSM. If you've looked at the videos from yesterday and the videos from today, this does not look like the same team. Off the gaming's going to take this map 11 to 1. They look focused, Jack. You know, they came in yesterday against TSM. They looked very poor. And if they looked that way today, they were not going to beat this Elevate team. But they saw how Rise played earlier. They know they need to match that level of skill, and they're bringing it. Well, Elevate, they'll have a few minutes here to kind of recollect their thoughts. Obviously, down 0-3. Optic Gaming outside them by 20 kills. But, as I mentioned, there's a still a grand final to be had. When I hear backstage, we have Ashley alongside Aluni to talk about how his thoughts on this series. All right, yes, obviously, the Rise Nation is still here backstage, hanging out. What are you, what are you guys doing back here? I kind of want to paint a picture of what you guys have been up to while you're watching this match. Uh, we're seeing their improvements. Obviously, yesterday they were disappointed with the TSM loss, so we're seeing how they're playing, how they're gelling, if they're uh, comfortable with playing each other and their confidence level. I know they hear what I'm saying, so that feels a, a team's fired. They're like, oh, these guys are calling us out, so we're going to come out to play. So obviously, they have a strong performance so far, 3-0. I was going to say, yeah, they're definitely, I mean, do you think they're playing differently today? Because they were very disappointed yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely playing, I think, with more confidence. I think TSM threw them off with uh, some uh, map wins that they expected to win, so that kind of, like, made them a little uh, confused and seeing what we're doing wrong. So they definitely went back uh, to the practice room after that loss and improved, improved their gameplay and coming out strong against Elevate. Yeah, and in a weird way, like, you want Optic to win so that you can take them down, correct? Yeah, obviously, I've said that this whole weekend, and I still stand by it. Yes, you do. All right, well, obviously, whoever wins this match will take on Looney and Rise Nation, but, Will, we're going to take it back to you right now. Thank you, Ashley, and thank you, Looney, for taking the time to speak to us a little bit about, you know, what's going through his head. He's watching. He's keeping tabs because he wants to take that Optic team down. Yeah, Optic's on one right now. I'd be scared to play them, to be honest with you. When they're hitting from all cylinders, they're a scary team. And right now, I just, I don't know if Elvis got it in them to take this to uh, Game 7 at this they point. They have to, yeah. It's, it, they're down 3-0. We've got a CTF coming up, and then we've got another hard point, I believe. So.